interesting case today, uh, a patient from Arizona that's had multiple surgeries. She has a pseudarthrosis at, L at C3-4 and an anterolisthesis at the bottom of a long Moman arm at C7-T1. So we'll do a pseudarthrosis repair and we're in a fusion at C7-T1 and given the proximity of the two things, I'll just make a single midline incision and instrument all up and down so I can get a very stable construct. I'll use computer navigation and I'll be able to put in using uh, the image guidance, a C7 pedicle screw to get really good fixation. And then I'll be able to put in screws into these little lateral masses, again, using image guidance. So I'm excited. a little bit of cheating, but like my mom always said, you try hard enough if you don't cheat every once in a while. That's a good fight. So far so good. We found exactly what we thought we were going to find. C3-4 was moving because it didn't fuse and then C7-T1 you just look at it funny and it's mobile, it's hyper mobile. And it's the force, so I think you're gonna feel a lot better. I'm excited. Done. Oh yes, putting it all together. It went beautifully. I got all the implants in the places that I want. There was a problem at 3-4 and 7 C7-T1 just like we thought that we fixed so I'm really optimistic that you're going to do really well.